Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of JoJo's Quick Tips. Now today's quick tip will be talking about the benefits of diffusing essential oils, specifically utilizing an ultrasonic diffuser. So I've always had an interest in uh, indoor air quality. Actually, I've always had an interest in environmental science. It was my college minor. And, um, so I know how important indoor air quality is and how um, it is kind of looked over and dismissed and not really um, taken into account by many individuals. So uh, that's why in my COVID tips video, you can find the link in my bio, I went through uh, different modalities in which you could actually treat your ear and literally disable the virus in its habitat habitat which most viruses we know and are, are airborne and um, their mode of their main mode of transmission is is by uh, respiratory droplets and also um, aerosolized uh, droplets now I say ultrasonic diffuser because there are many different types of essential oil diffusers on the market ultrasonic diffusers have become so popular over the years is that they're a little bit more effective in how they disperse the essential oils because they utilize an ultrasonic wave in order to create fine droplets of water that actually look like smoke. So do you see what looks like a, a, a fine fog mist smoke like? That's actually water vapor. Uh, it is pretty interesting to see. Essential oils we know have many different benefits. And what happens when you diffuse a oil uh, through ultrasonic vapor, those particles get broken down even finer than what you would expect in a regular electric diffuser that may utilize um, water but it would utilize more like a steam like vapor rather than an ultrasonic fog and so what you're able to do is kind of get uh, those molecules broken down more and so you get better dispersion and diffusion of the essential oil throughout the atmosphere um, essential oils are amazing because they exert their protective benefits for the plants just like how they um, exhibit those protective benefits for us when we apply them and use them correctly <laughs> that is the key correctly so they're releasing their volatile organic compounds such as terpenes and these are the compounds in which viruses and a lot of bugs don't like they actually um, have many different mechanisms of disabling microbes and uh, some of them um, include actually going in and disrupting membranes so I love essential oils I have been a long believer in essential oils for years now so this is not very new to me now the diffuser that I use is the Q's diffuser. I got it back in 2013, I believe. It's actually my second one because I gave my first one away to one of my medical school instructors who was like, he was really big on like uh, Ariduva, Ariduvic medicine, um, energy healing, all that stuff. And uh, really, I'm more of like a naturalist. So we just like completely vibed and when I was leaving I was like this would be an awesome gift for him and he still has it because they're extremely strong at the time it was one of the better uh, brands and highly reviewed um, brands uh, that I purchased I believe from Amazon I purchased both, both of them. Um, 
yes and it, and it works well and um, I like it because it also has like um, you know a light feature where it gives you a nice um, like warm a spa like light and you can actually have it dim or you can have it stay constant or still and there are two different modes of um, dispersion of the mist you could put it on a low setting or a high setting I got this one about two years ago uh, so I'm thinking that there is probably a new version out would probably more uh, enhanced features so definitely go check it out i'll put the link into the description of this video so which oils do you use okay so i first started my research about oils with antimicrobial effects specifically viral effects um using peer-reviewed journals and i came across many different essential oils that exhibited antiviral effects on uh, various different organisms. Each essential oil uh, is, is different in their in their properties and uh, I guess every bug is different in their susceptibility. Uh, so what they do is that they create these um, I would say tinctures or mixtures of essential oils that have been proven scientifically to exhibit antimicrobial broad spectrum antimicrobial effects and put them into what they call a synergistic blend and uh, so you can go online and search for like um, a synergy a synergistic oil blend and you will get a list of various companies uh, with various um, concoctions of synergistic oils for immune health I think I started my search on Amazon and I think I just put something very basic uh, essential oils immune system and you will see a ton so I went with the Oracacia brand uh, because it is a well trusted essential oil brand and essential oils is kind of like food um you know quality is everything um so i went with the uh oracacia medieval mix it's a medieval oh. <laughs> it's called medieval mix so well, i chose the medieval mix because it has thyme oil along with the other oils that are in many of the other brands and i really like that because when i was doing my research thyme was listed over and over again as having antiviral effects and some of the other oils did not have thyme in them uh, some of the oils are known they kind of have their brand because of the mixture that they've been using historically over the years uh, such as thieves oil if you search thieves oil that is another immune synergistic blend of oil but it, it doesn't have time we have sweet orange lavender lemon red thyme tea tree eucalyptus and uh, rosemary oil a total of seven oils all together a lot of the other brands only have between four to five oils in their immune mixes um so i would definitely recommend the uh oracacia and they're pretty decent price for the quality that you get this half ounce vial was around ten dollars really um, so that's really a good deal for a better quality um, oil. They recommend on their website for a diffusion time between 15 to 20 minutes to utilize between 18 to 20 drops of essential oil. So here we have a water basin and you fill it with room temperature water. You don't have to use warm water. And uh, then I'm going to add around 20 drops.
Okay. Great. So, just put the cover back on. And you want to put the cover back on before you start it up because it the water will just start splashing everywhere. And it is on right now. As you can see, there is that mist going up. That mist going up. And I'm actually starting to smell the the oil and it smells really good and really clean. So it's just going up there and um, mixing in with the ear and hopefully if there is COVID in the ear, it will um, start aggravating it. And really the goal is to disarm and kill the virus. Um, good way to that. Smells so good. Wow, I'm extremely impressed. And I also want to recommend this as a potential Mother's Day gift. You know, Mother's Day this year is looking a little bit different for a lot of us. I'm typically not with my mom during Mother's Day, so I'm kind of used to like sending gifts and stuff to her house. Um, yeah, but I know for many people it's, it's it's different and you know if they're elderly then you know you, you really just for their own benefit don't go around them. So this year we're having to be ingenious with our Mother's Day gifts and I believe this is an example of a useful gift for your mom and your pops. Um, of course, it's her gift, but then she'll use it in the house and it will be beneficial for everybody. I'll go on Amazon and check out some really amazing diffusers. I am going to put um, a, a link in the description box to my particular diffuser that I use as well as a lower end but really highly reviewed diff diffuser. Um, when I say lower end, I mean lower price because it's really good. Um, it is like I believe the number one uh, seller in its, in its class. Mine was over $50. Uh, that's not really expensive for a gift, but you can find some that are under 20 that are pretty good. I will also leave the description to the link um, for the oil as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. As usual, stay safe and I'll see you next time on JoJo's Quick Tips. Bye!